And now we can go back to the two corpses that we just uncovered up here. It's a massacre here. Oh, there was one here already previously. Yes, this was the tattoo guy. But these corpses, despite them being so close together, they died at different times. What the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? Very dangerous. Shell? What shell? Oh. Well, I think we have an idea of what the shell might be. Yeah! Okay, more people dying from spikes? That's how that spike got onto the cage. This guy... ...died from the spike. Why is he being held by... Oh, what was going on here? This is the captain. Yeah. Oh! What's going on here? There's a few people on the ground already. They caught a thing from the sea, and somebody here knows something about those shells. Sounds like maybe the Chinese people? It's super weird looking at the Chinese, cause I guess cause it's Taiwanese? It feels like I can read what it's saying as in the alphabet, but I don't know what words they're forming. I gotta go back and pay attention to the English. Fifteen people were here. There were two people who died. It's the guy who was holding the other guy, right? This is... one of the Formosan bodyguards? Yeah, it is. This guy has three freaking triangles. Well, we know it's one of those names. One of the Formosan names. Lift this out and take it below. The shell. What the hell is going on, says the captain. What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends. Dead friends. The three guys on the ground? What are these monsters? Where are they from? The guy who died says, this is your fault. The shell must be protected. We will all die. Are these all... These are all the same person, right? Yeah. He talk about a shell, very dangerous. Shell? What shell? Mm. So one of the Chinese people, Formosan people, know about the shells? This guy? But one of them doesn't. Oh, I thought it might have been a cultural thing to begin with, but looking at it like that? Maybe that guy just happened to know. Okay. We have a whole bunch of sailors around here. People turning this thing. Any tattoos I can see? I don't see any tattoos just yet. We can tell who a lot of people are already, but for now, I, I still don't really have a clue. <laughs> mm, this is one of the people who were shooting Hoxang, Hoxang Lao. Ah, they're coming in here? Oh, this is the... this was the freaking thing, right? The thing that was in the passenger cargo, glowing. Probably the thing that's cursed them, and that's why the... The shells and the crabs and the spiders and the... the kraken are all coming for them. Martin? Uh, William? Yeah, everybody important is here. You don't have any tattoos? This guy almost got spiked, but he didn't. This is Alfred? Yes, it's Alfred, the bosun. According to our notes... Surgeon? Yes, this is the surgeon. So are those people dead or... Oh. Oh, that's uh, one of the mates, right? They have a fancy hat. Oh my god, what happened to his arm? What? What happened to... Oh my god, what... Oh, whoa, these la this lady's dead. This guy's freaking... They're all dead. They're all dead. Aren't they? 
Okay, you know what? I think we've seen enough to say that this guy is probably the surgeon's mate, right? He has a bag next to him. Yeah, I feel pretty confident about this one. Although he's kind of wearing like a carpenter thing. So let's put this one down. This guy was decapitated by a beast. We know this already. Okay, so if he is the surgeon's mate, he would be James Wallace. This guy's entry is complete too, so we have to be aware of how many we have now to make sure that we're not making any mistakes here. Okay, can we get back to the crew list actually? Yeah, we identified someone that's not actually one of the dead people. So right now, we have James Wallace, who I suspect to be James Wallace. One, two, Thomas Sefton, the cook. We only need one more. One more. You know what? I feel like we can get that one. Yeah? You know the guy earlier with the... Um, the steward. I don't think earlier I put down how he died. Like, I knew the captain steward probably killed him, but we didn't see the weapon and I put it off. If I go and find that memory again, I feel like I can confirm that fate. Yeah, but the, the problem is, where is that one? I forgot his name. The guy who died and there was a... there was like a saber, a sword around him. Is it John Naples? Um, If I see it in the book, I'll know it. Let me flip through the pages. It's when people started going crazy, okay? That steward guy was randomly killing people. Well? No, not this one. Take him to the carpenters. No, no. On your toes, boys. If we can confirm something, I would really like to do it ASAP. Just to know if we're doing it right or wrong. And I need that validation, okay? I need it. <laughs> yes, keep pressure here. This one. What madness is this? So if I'm thinking right, this guy, John Naples, I can say that he was... <sighs> would it be knifed or is there a better one for sword? Sword. Killed with a sword by the Captain Steward. Captain Steward. Philip Dahl. Uh-oh, nothing's happening. Ooh, maybe I gotta go back and review that memory again, huh? Uh, maybe it's not this one that's wrong. Maybe one of the other two are wrong. Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta keep track here. Come on, you gotta give me my validation! No, no... Hmm... James Wallace... Okay, you know what? Let's just continue on this memory for now. Maybe we'll find a fourth one, and then we can tell which one's wrong? Yeah, so right now, John Naples... And... Uh, Thomas Sefton? And James Wallace. One of them is wrong. Okay, move on for now. Yeah, I mean, this guy, I feel like for sure he's a surgeon's mate, though. Here, though. Lots of spikes. Captain... It just happens to narrowly miss the captain. This guy... This guy's dead. He's been spiked. He's one of the guards. One of the ones that we don't happen to know. Spiked. Yes. And this guy as well, right? Because... Yeah, the spike went through. Oh, did it go through both of them? Or... Were there two different spikes? I don't even know. This guy's freaking dead. Yup. Spiked? Is that the guy that's in the... In what we're looking at right now? This is the guy in front. This is the guy in the back. I gotta remember these faces. Yes. They were both spiked, as far as we can see. Hmm. Are these people dead? Five dead people here. Unholy captives. 
Mhm. Now we could move on and look at this body, or we can go back and review which one of the three I got wrong. Mm, normally, I would want to review, but I think the easiest way to tell which one's wrong is to move on and find another one. Because the correct ones will get validated, right? And then the wrong one will automatically appear by itself. Maybe I'll try this method instead. So much for holding your fire! Oh! Uh, this is not a person on the ship, is it? It's probably one of the- No! What? What, how would they not know him? He's an important guy, isn't he? Oh! This is the Formosan guard. There's one more guy here. Can't really see him, though. What did he bring back? Oh, what the heck? What the heck is that? It's like a human... Ugh! I don't know. Anyways, though, this guy was pretty clearly shot by the Formosan guard. We just don't know his name. <gasps> what? This is the Formosan royalty! Oh! So maybe he's shooting him because he think this guy thinks that he killed him. But in actuality, it might have been this beast here. Oh, and there is a treasure. Calling. The corpse was moved post-mortem. Mmm, you know what we can do here? If we already know his name, Edward Nichols. Ahoy! Ahoy, he says. They're back! Someone above deck says, Get the captain! Ahoy, he says again. Recover the boats. Wait, don't shoot! I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire. But, oh, the Formosan guy doesn't speak English, so maybe he didn't understand Hold Your Fire. Hmm. I can think of something that we can do here, although I'm not sure if it's the right way to be doing it. It's kind of gaming the system a little bit, though. Because what we can say very clearly is that this guy was shot. By a gun, is it? Let me go confirm again. Yes, it's his own gun, it's not the cannon. So what we could say is, this guy was shot by a gun. We don't know who shot him, but, but, Formosan, here. So it's either between It Beng Xia or Cho Tan, right? Because we know that Hock Sang Lao died by firing squad. And Bun Lan Lim is a... is the woman. If I just say this... Okay, nothing happens. If I say this... <laughs> now we'll know which one's wrong. Oh, so John Naples was killed by Philip Dahl. That was right. So I kind of just wanted to see if that would work, but I don't quite like that I did that, so I'm not going to do it again. But I really wanted to know which one of the ones that I did previously were wrong. You know when you get it wrong, you have this sinking feeling in your stomach and you just want to get rid of it ASAP. <laughs> which one was the wrong one though? Oh, the cook getting spiked. That's wrong, really? 
Um, we're gonna have to go back and look at this because how could that have been wrong? Yeah, earlier he came up and he was like, hey guys, what's up? Is he not the cook? We're gonna have to review that in a sec. Yeah, I feel like I'm so sure this was right. Give him to me and I can fry us a solid meal. So this one memory shows how he died and his profession. Did he not get spiked? Hmm... Okay, well, I'll review this one later on, but for now, um... I'll leave it alone. Let's focus on this memory. Uh, so because of my little exploitations here, now we know who this guy is. <laughs> it's kinda... kinda crummy. You don't have sufficient information to determine this person's identity. We know it already, but not via the right method. We're going to be seeing how the Formosa man and woman died though, so I'm hoping that us doing this won't change too much because we're gonna find out who the man is soonish? Hopefully. So what's happening here? They went out at sea or... Oh, there's another boat. Wait. Oh, the lady! How did everyone die? What is this? This is not a human. What are these things? How is that boat following the other boat? Oh, is it tied on together? Oh... Uh, oh, and I thought they made it out alive too, because they were going- Oh, yes! In a previous scene, we saw that they were going away. They were going away via the lifeboat thingy, but they're coming back! I thought they would've made it out, but they didn't. Oh... How did you die? How did both of the royalties die? One more guy here. Hmm, this was the guy that was present during the eavesdropping scene. Do we know his name? No, this guy was clubbed by H. Brennan. Okay. I'm guessing he and his wife died the same way. Those merman things they were bringing back on the boat. I'm not sure what's going on. No, oh, yeah, all three of them. This guy was shot by the guard. This guy was on the boat. The guard is talking. Again, he does not say Miss Lim. <laughs> oh! Oh look, the treasure! What is this thing? Mermaid? Merman? Oh, there's more than one! There's another glowing thing here. She's already dead by this time. This guy was alone. Wait, then how was that guy... Oh, uh, I was under the impression that this guy was Formosan royalty, like a king or something, and his wife is the queen. But this guy just said Miss Lim. That actually doesn't make any sense then, because why would he say Miss Lim to his wife? He's bringing something back. So we don't officially know who he is just yet. Are you there, Miss Lim? I mean, technically, he just says Miss, Miss, twice. He seems like he was crushed by... Cargo? I can't tell. There's only one other person here. Yeah, the other guy. Edward Nichols. Later on, or earlier on? This was the guy who killed Nunzio too, right? What the heck? Well, it has to be earlier on because this guy dies in the next scene. Shot by the Formosa guard. Um, what's actually going on with him here? There's some like white spots that seems like it's this thing? The crate. Oh! Oh! Later when we see his corpse, his hand was burnt to the bone, right? 
Is it fire? I mean, I want to say it's fire, but what is that really? Can't really tell. Is there an option for burned? Burned to death? For now, I'll assume it's fire. But I don't really... We're already at the memory of death, so I don't think we'll get any more information about how he actually died. Why is there fire in this chest? We do know that his arm that's glowing right now becomes charred to the bone later on. That's a fact. So based on that, I'm gonna say it's a burn. Meanwhile, this guy is... Why is he bringing them up on purpose? These are scary monsters. He's bringing them back on purpose? Those glowing treasures. Yeah, remember? Look at that. That guy's hand is like a bone. The woman. I thought they all escaped. How is this happening? Oh my god. What the heck happened out at sea? She's already dead again! Blood. Oh, whoa! What is that? Oh, they all came out of opening that chest. It's like Pandora's box. And that's how he burned his hand, because he was reaching inside. What's inside? Oh, Jesus. Oh, what the heck? These people! We didn't even see them on the boat earlier, did we? What? Oh my god. Those merman people. Are they actually real people converted? Into merman people? Okay, this guy's hiding by himself. He's not even on the same boat, because later on we see that he's in that boat. What? This is starting to get really scary. I thought those merman people and the spider people were just all monsters, but it seems like... Oh... Do we know her fate? I feel like I can't really tell because she's already dead here. Yeah, but I thought they were merman people. I, I didn't think they would be descended or transformed from corpses. This guy, this guy's been spiked. Yeah, oh my god. I don't know who he is, but there's a pretty damn big spike in his neck there. So I think I'm comfortable with saying that he's been spiked. Right? No, I want to add a... Mm, we can't add a death because we don't... We're not seeing his death right now. Um... Actually, I'm not so sure though because these people are not humans. Maybe they just fell off into the water and that's why we never saw their corpses? There's another ore here. One thing's for certain though, I think this all came out of opening the chest. All these streams of light. Didn't we get our pocket watch from a similar looking chest in the beginning? These guys are all dead. All the people that escaped with them, huh? No, we're gonna be looking at a long string of deaths here, aren't we? You're still breathing? Can you roll? <laughs> Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake! <laughs> 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 
If someone subordinate to Nichols is telling him to freaking shoot. O'Hagan? Yeah, no, that's not transformed from the people. That's like freaking from the sea. What the hell? What? Why are you guys fighting? This guy's dead. Again, already. Spike. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh my god! Is she being bitten to death or... And you're reaching in for what? We can identify him now. Is he O'Hagan? Nichols is being a coward right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, who, who spoke? Who spoke? Accessible only through another corpse. How did this person die? Oh, Hagen, you still breathing? Can you row? Help. Nichols, sir. Shoot them for God's sake. So we know there is an O'Hagan in the scene, in addition to Nichols, in addition to the Formosan people. There were four other people present in the scene. This is the guy who said, O'Hagan, you still breathing? This is Nichols. These are the two Formosans. So that makes it so that this guy is O'Hagan, right? And he's clear too. Oh, but he has three triangles. Somebody said his name directly. Shouldn't that be an easy one? Let me look at this again. So where is he exactly? Why are they fighting here? It's so... Yes, this guy's saying O'Hagan! He's still breathing? Wait, 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 wait. If he's asking if O'Hagan's still breathing... So it, it's got to be someone that's injured, right? Hey, this guy's in the scene, but it didn't count him because he's already dead. Hold on. Actually, there's way more than four people in the scene. If we count the corpses. Because it says here that there's five people. But in total... One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven people in the scene. And it says there's only five. Because two people are corpses. Okay, that's actually kind of annoying now because... <laughs> which one is O'Hagan then? This guy... O'Hagan, he's still breathing? That... This could be O'Hagan. This could be O'Hagan. This could also be O'Hagan. Oh, so, and they're all clear too, so suddenly it's become not so clear which one O'Hagan is, even though the names were said. Seems like there's three people that O'Hagan can be. Hmm. You know, this kind of feels like Sudoku. It's like trying to eliminate what numbers can't be in a certain spot and then figuring it out. Makes this game kind of hard to play though, because if you play for too long, then your brain kind of turns into mush. But if you spread your playtime out too thin, then you don't remember anything. <laughs> Are you falling in the water because something's grabbing you? Oh yeah, something's grabbing him. Okay, well there's at least two people here who have difficulty breathing because they're dead. And then one dude here with an oar, but he seems to be okay with breathing. Uh, I think I need to take a break soon. <laughs> Oh my god! All the faces start blending together after a while. <laughs> if we talk about the death of this guy, from the body positioning, it seems like he might have been pushed off the boat. Maybe we can confirm that when we finish the chapter and it says, Hey, this person disappeared. What happened to them? I'm not sure if his body was in the first scene. Where is it? Where? Something there! I see it! Uh, give us a weapon! Shoot it! My kid I! Pick up the oars and row, you fools! 
Okay, okay, we got a lot of hints there that time, so... A lot of people talking. They found a chest somewhere, and now these... These creatures are chasing after them. This guy... Was he drowned? Oh! Oh, they're all- they're all, Oh, hold on. This guy is captured right now. Yeah, he's tied up. Whoa, I feel like- Hmm. And this guy's been spiked. Pretty clearly. Oh! Oh, what the heck? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! She's throwing a freaking right in the neck! How vicious! What is this? Oh. She's not dead here. Earlier in the scene, we saw... We kind of saw how she died. She was yelling help, but I don't really know exactly... Like, what was the thing that did the blowing... The death blow. Another one that's only accessible through... Another corpse. Oh, someone speaking German here. Or uh, not German, Russian. Mother of God. They're here. Bang! The chest. Okay, we can identify that guy properly now. Where is it? There, something there, I see it. Give us a weapon, says the dead guy. Miss Lim, stay down. Pick up the oars and row, you fools. It seems like the Formosan royalty guy is not that high up in ranking at all, even though he's the one sitting down in the picture? Because I feel like if you're royalty, you'd be the only one that's able to sit down, right? Because the servants can't sit down. Bang. It bang Sia. Mm hmm and now we can officially tell the other one. This one's a easy one. The other one was where? This guy? Yeah, he's three stars, but we know now, right? It is... Chotan. Yeah, and that's one perfectly filled out one, so we gotta be careful here with the validating of fates again. Oh, that's actually two perfectly filled out ones. Huh. If we know this one, can we know it? Like, she was... The thing was clawing at her neck. Oh, clawed? Yeah! All the Formosan people. Again, this means that the mistake we've made is with the cook. We gotta go back and check up on why it's wrong. It's just that we happen to already have three here, so... Kinda wasted an opportunity to check it up. So this guy burned to death. She was clawed by a beast to death. This guy was spiked to death. Is this the guy we're looking at today? Yes. We can say that he was spiked right in the frickin' neck. Oh my lord. Yum. Okay. Mm. Nichols, holding a gun, and then hiding like a coward later on. Okay, look, so we, we're looking at this scene here. Earlier, the scene with O'Hagan, it said, Can you row? Both of these guys are rowing. Still not any closer to telling which one's O'Hagan, to me anyway. Did someone say something with an accent here? Hold on, can I... Can I get back to the... Not this scene. I want to get back to the... Here? Someone speaking Russian. And the guy who died here says, give us a weapon. Miss Lim, stay down. Pick up the oars and row, you fools. Maybe nickels? If there's a Russian here... How many Russians were here again? We had a thing with Russians earlier, too, but it might be too hard to tell just based off this. Russian... I'm assuming it's Russian, I don't actually... 
I can't confirm that it's Russian. <laughs> okay, it's these three guys. And that's it. Three Russians on the whole thing. Unfortunately, that's not really enough to narrow it down for me, is it? We know they're Russian. Oh! One is a topman, two are seamen. Could the one that's Russian here be the topman, just because there's only one of them? Feel like I would have to look at their uniforms and stuff, though. Hmm. I mean, who would the Russian be? This guy? That's the uniform I associate with Topman. This guy... That's the uniform I associate with Seaman, although I'm not actually sure if it's... true. I don't even know what uniform that is. Like a Chinese ethnic uniform? Not a whole lot I feel like I can be too sure of exactly, so I'm gonna um, call it quits for now. And check out this dead guy. <gasps> He's been spiked! Keep course due east. We'll reach the Canaries in three days. You packed enough stores? Aye, sir. Checked and loaded them myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! I shut it up. This is strange things about monsters. Ah, you know what's happening here? The Formosan people are talking, and the Chinese person can sort of understand them. Yeah, it's not exactly the same language, Taiwanese and Chinese, but uh, the Chinese guy can understand them. Which is this guy, I think. No, this guy is the Formosan guy. This guy is the Chinese guy, I think. He speaks English. Oh lord. It's here. They're trying to escape the Obra Din. This chest? I keep forgetting that we're looking at this in reverse chronological order, but this chest was brought to the Obra Din by the Formosan people, and now they're leaving and taking the chest with them. Which is why they're like, don't forget the box, don't forget the box! It's not that they're bringing the treasure back to the Obra Din. This is hard to keep track of in my head. This is chapter... four. Who is this guy? How'd he die? I think he's one of the Chinese guys. Yeah, one of the top men. But we don't know which one. <laughs> hmm... Can we say how he died? He's a three triangle one. A lot of people here. Okay, one of these guys is O'Brennan. Oh, earlier, according to the dialogue, Somebody definitely had a strong Irish accent? I think O'Hagan is Irish. Keep course due east, we'll reach the Canaries in three days. Don't quite remember the voicing anymore, but I think this was Nichols. I, sir, checked and loaded on myself. Irish. Good, stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. This was definitely Nichols. Miss Lim, are you all right? This was the Formosan man. Yes, I'm okay, Formosan lady. But the chest, it must not fall into the ocean. The lady. If the monsters come, you must stay down, Formosa man. I shut it up. Uh, I, was it the Irish guy? They say strange things about monsters. Yes. It's a Chinese guy. And that's the guy who died too. The guy who said the last line. So at the very minimum, we can say that this guy was spiked. But we don't know who he is. He's one of the Chinese people for sure. You can kind of tell that just by looking at the art, though, because he looks... Chinese? <laughs> okay. Why were they trying to escape here? I feel like I don't have a very good grasp of the overall picture. If we go back to... the timeline, the map in the very beginning. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, how did it all even begin? 
Right, so we started here. They were moving away from the Oberdin with the chest, and then they ran into the mermaids. And then they opened the chest? Wait, so here, it's saying the mermaids appeared before the chest was opened. Earlier, I thought that they appeared because the chest was opened. But after they opened the chest, there were lights that aimed towards the merman. And we know later on, the merman died. So maybe the chest actually killed the merman. Yeah, because when Nichols gets back to the Oberdin, all the mermen are dead already. All the people are dead too. And he's the only one alive, but unfortunately he was shot anyway. We should look at this map more often to try to make sense of things chronologically. Yeah, this was the end. And then, oh my lord, the escape. Yeah, why were they trying to escape? Because they were too scared about the beast? Yeah, and then the whole escape led to mutiny. The eavesdropping about mutiny, too. Which led to even more people dying. Murder. Murder leading to Hock Sang Lao dying. Oh, Hock Sang Lao dying could be a big trigger for the Formosan people leaving. Leaving? On this boat here, we saw the Formosan man and lady, but the bodyguard is still on the boat, and we know this because he ends up killing Nichols as they come back. What the heck? Let's move on. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Sitting here thinking about it is nice, but gathering more info is even nicer. Right, so she's tied up, right? Because the man is tied up. Yeah, he definitely is... Hmm. They weren't leaving the ship on their own free will. They were kidnapped to leave. Nichols. One of them is O'Hagan. One of them's Irish. <laughs> I mean, if you made me pick, I would think this guy looks more Irish than this guy. But that's... <laughs> That's just judging based off appearances. <laughs> Yum. It's okay though. I feel like once we gather and see more information, it'll make it easier. So for now, let's just... let's just leave. Mermaid people... throwing spikes onto the boat. Everybody died. Absolutely every single person on the boat. Oh, but two people are missing. Two wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. Mmm, because we never found their corpses, right? We never found their corpses. I would assume that they just drowned. But um, I would have to look at them individually to make sure of that. So for now, I'm just gonna get out of here.